Good morning and welcome to Wholesome Roots. Today, it's actually a beautiful sunny day. But starting tomorrow, we're going to have a really cold Arctic blast move through. And it's going to be quite chilly here in Georgia. I don't know if we can handle it. Can we handle it? I think we can handle it. We'll just have to have some hot apple cider and stay cozy under the blankets on the couch. like that autumn? So yummy? She likes it. Not all of the goats love the pumpkins as much as some of them do, but it is a really tasty treat for them. They mostly consume all of the inside. I think they like the hay more. So one thing you're going to hear over and over and over and over and over again in the homesteading community and really anybody with livestock in general are going to tell you that pumpkins deworm your livestock. Is that really true? Is it? Well, I can tell you it is definitely true. Pumpkins are a delicious treat for any of your livestock. They do most of the time enjoy it. Not all of them do. It is a nutritious treat where you will get a good vitamin and mineral into them so that it is a good idea to feed pumpkins to your livestock. Yes, absolutely. Especially if you can get them free after Halloween like a lot of us farmers are doing right now. That's what we're doing and we've always done but we're not deworming our livestock with these pumpkins. I'll tell you that right now. Do pumpkin seeds contain an ingredient that has the ability to deworm? Yes, it absolutely does. But you're not gonna have any of those deworming effects if it's not in the right dosage. And it would be pretty hard to get that dosage high enough for a goat, for sure. So there are plenty of those scientific studies that I absolutely adore that do show that pumpkin seeds, Autumn is jumping on me in case uh, you see me moving a lot. <laughs> She's being naughty. She's not trying to be naughty. She's just trying to get my attention. So those studies have proven there are active ingredients in pumpkin seeds that will cause the parasite to leave the goat's body, definitely. But the amount of that ingredient in a pumpkin seed is minuscule. So the amount of pumpkin seeds that you would have to feed your goats is astronomical. <laughs> it's really, I figured it out once and you would have to do at least a cup of pumpkin seed per goat 
per day for 30 days. And the amount of money that would cost if you were to buy that many pumpkin seeds is definitely not worth it. There are so many other things that you can use to help boost the natural immune system against parasites, herbs that fight parasites and kill them pretty darn well without such high volumes, and of course there's always the chemical dewormer when you run into a problem. But feeding pumpkins to your livestock is not going to deworm them, but they will love it, they will enjoy it, and it is a really nice treat, and it helps supplement. Oh gosh, I'm getting stung. Why? And it will help supplement your feed costs for the winter. So by all means, get all of the free pumpkins you can and chop them up and feed them to your goats. I will say, the more I chop them up, the more they seem to eat the orange pulpy part. So the smaller you chop it into bite-sized pieces, you're gonna have a better effect. But I don't really have time for that. And we have um, a system in place where we gather up the pumpkins from the day before that the goats nibbled on, and we bring those to the chickens, and the chickens do a much better job about eating the pulp than the goats do. Um, so we get a nutritional boost in our chickens, and it really does seem to help with egg production. So they like it, we like it, it works out good for everybody, but don't count on it to be a dewormer for your animals. Oh, you guys hear me picking up your pumpkin chunks and you want to come steal them from me now, huh? Guys, you weren't interested in those until I picked them up. Nothing different than what you got over there. Go eat the fresh one I chopped for you this morning. Good girl. Dominique, you can't stay without me. Dominique is my shadow when I'm out here, so she's always following me around. So, yep, I just pick up these chunks before they get moldy so that the chickens can enjoy them as well. For any of you that were concerned about those sounds in the background, it's just this, this crazy mess over here. Fancy too is still not bred and she's still coming in the heat like crazy. But she doesn't want the other two baby butts. She only wants fluffy butter. <laughs> and so they're all making funny sounds and doing their goaty fall thing. <laughs> fluffy butter, you are funny. Now do your thing. Oh gosh, virtue. That's a funny sound too. Yeah, you sound like a baby. You sound funny too. Hey girls, look what I got for you. Enjoy. I bet it would even be good if I chopped them up really fine for the quail. I'd probably have to use a food processor for that though. But that might be a great thing to supplement their feed with. And I know pigs love pumpkin. When we had our Hereford hog, she would eat the whole thing, shell and all, and just be as happy as she could be. I know I normally get more into the technical side of things and the scientific names for the chemical compounds and which vitamins and minerals, but what I'm gonna do instead today save some time because I've got to get back in the house now and get started on homeschooling is I'm gonna leave a link down below in my description to an article that my friend Amy Fuel wrote that really goes into much better detail about why pumpkin seeds are not dewormers. She gives lots of great scientific based research in her article that will help you learn more about it. So don't take my word for it. Listen to the chicken queen, my friend Amy Fuel. I hope that you have learned something new with me today, and I hope that it does not discourage you from giving pumpkins to your livestock. I want to encourage that, 
It is a great fall tradition that should carry on for every livestock member of your family. <laughs> for sure, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing to do. But I just wanted to make sure that nobody was counting on it to keep their animals healthy and safe from parasites. Because the last thing any of us need is a parasite outbreak when we're not expecting it because we thought that we had dewormed them with the pumpkin seeds. So good luck to you in finding some free pumpkins for your livestock. We'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots. Oh, and keep in mind, if you get some of these beautiful heirloom pumpkins in your free pumpkin batch, save the seed and eat the pulp for yourself. It's delicious. <laughs>